we are breaking down the top cheap cars that celebrities drive. You will be shocked to find out which big names out there have big bank accounts to match, but drive more common folk type of cars. Hey gearheads, if you were a famous celebrity and had all the fame and fortune one could ever dream of, what kind of car would you drive, hmm? Would you roll up to a red carpet, movie premiere, and a brightly colored Lamborghini and stand out from the crowd? Please, no autographs, no autographs. Or perhaps you'd drive around La La Land to your lunch dates in something super exclusive like a McLaren maybe? Man, I love that car. But hey, even though they seem larger than life on the big screen, rumor has it that their real life taste in rides may be just a bit more economical in reality. That's why today we are breaking down the top cheap cars that celebrities drive. You will be shocked to find out which big names out there have big bank accounts to match, but drive more, um, inexpensive or common folk type of cars. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Jen. I'm a car and tech lover and you may have run across some of my car and tech shows like Boys Toys, It's How You Get There, Motor Spins, they're on TV and social media. But if you like to chat about cool cars, aircraft, tech and more, please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you're in the know when I post a new video. I'm calling BS on our first celeb in her affordable auto. And by that, I mean Miss Britney Spears herself. Singer, dancer, all around pop star phenom extraordinaire. She's finally allowed to drive alone again in her car after 15 years of not being able to. So of course, I gotta show my support and give some love to the circus superstar and say hashtag free Britney but listen, I think I want to start a new hashtag, all right? Listen up. One that has a little bit more to do with her love of cars. Hashtag Bentley for Britney. That's because it's always been her dream car, but not the one she's currently driving. Over the years, she's been known to drive a number of reasonable rides. Everything from smart cars, Mini Coopers, Jeeps, you name it. But Brit Brit's favorite flavor of four-seater seems to be none other than German automaker Mercedes Benz. And I'm not mad about it. She was recently seen driving around town in an AM SL 63, which I definitely wouldn't mind owning, you feel me? 5.5 liter, V8, bi-turbo, and a generous helping of 577 horsepower. Although this is not a cheap car by any stretch of the imagination, with an MSRP around the $115,000 mark, depending on options. But when you compare that price point to that of, say, Bentley models out there that Britney's been dreaming about, like, say, the Bentley Bendega that starts around 160,000 or the Continental GT that comes in around the $200,000 mark, well, the Mercedes-Benz starts to feel a bit more attainable for us mere common folk. Next up, none other than Mr. Dirty Harry himself, Clint Eastwood. Well, do you bunk? You may just be shocked when you hear what kind of budget mobile Mr. Eastwood allegedly owns. Rumor on the street has it that his gas-guzzling go-to is the GMC Typhoon a special SUV built between 1992 and 1993 that reportedly costs around $29,000. Built with a 4.3 liter turbocharged V6 under the hood and producing 280 horsepower for its all-wheel drive system, this cost-effective Typhoon allegedly can hit a 0 to 60 time in 5.3 seconds. Not too shabby for this GMC Jimmy lookalike, and I think Mr. Eastwood may have that special eye for a sound automotive investment. You see, recently a 2019 rare 1992 Typhoon actually went on sale at auction and sold for $60,500. That's double the original price. Not too shabby. It looks like Mr. Dirty Harry himself made a clean investment in his typhoon that really paid off. Okay, our next colossal superstar, or shall I say Titanic celebrity that has been rumored to fancy himself an affordable set of wheels, Mr. Leonardo DiCaprio. 
Yep, with that level of box office success, one might expect the Great Gatsby old boy to cruise around town with his supermodel friends in a wide variety of, um, well, supermodel cars as well. But that couldn't be further from the truth, actually. Well, at least part of that statement anyway. You see, when he is not toting around town with his Chevrolet legs, aka using a bike to circle the block, DiCaprio instead opts for an assortment of eco-friendly car contenders as well. And he's been seen in a number of Earth-conscious cruisers over the years. Models like the Lexus RX Hybrid, which comes in around the 51,000 mark, and the Volvo XC90 Hybrid as well. But his most beloved and budget-friendly beauty to speak of, his go-to Toyota Prius. That's right, 58 in the city and 53 on the highway is just the beginning, my friends. Evidently, the actor loved his Prius so much that he even splurged on buying Prius models for some of his family members as well. So, how much for his favorited fuel-efficient Prius model? Well, just under $25,000 base price. If the next person in the rumor mill of the affordable rides is true, I may like her even that much more. I'm talking about none other than actress Jennifer Lawrence. Beloved by her fans, not only because she's witty and down to earth off screen, but did I mention that she's also one of the highest paid actresses on the planet? Allegedly, despite her enormous acting paycheck, she feels a little bit more at home behind the wheel of a more humble and economical car. You see, Jayla is, I guess, the owner of a Volkswagen Eos. Equipped with a two liter four cylinder engine, this low priced puppy isn't the fastest performer on the block, but it does crank out around 200 horses and comes with a very affordable price tag. So looking to drive the same combi cousin as the Mockingjay and wanna know how much her Volkswagen is worth? Well, evidently you can buy it used for around $20,000. Hold the phone, Harry Potter drives a heap? What? Well, um, I guess it depends on your definition of the word, but it's certainly no hypercar, that's for sure. I don't know if he still drives it or has it maybe safely stood away in a garage somewhere, but reportedly for his 18th birthday, Mr. Daniel Radcliffe splurged and bought himself a fancy new set of wheels. No, it wasn't a Ferrari or Pagani, but it was, however, a rather reasonably priced Fiat Punto with a sticker price of around $17,000. And this after allegedly making millions acting in the Harry Potter franchise. All right, what should you know about this clever super mini? Well, it for one doesn't pollute too much, so that's nice, but it also doesn't have the largest engine on the block either. Equipped with either a 1.9 liter diesel or 1.8 liter gas motor with no more than 178 horsepower, I think it's safe to say that Harry Potter's broomstick was a bit more torquey and rambunctious of a driver than this cost-effective compact. Our next celeb not only has the passion for Christ, but also he has a passion for cars too. Yes, I'm talking about none other than Mr. Mel Gibson. Apparently he's a pretty penny wise shopper when it comes to things like spending money on cars. And he's been seen over the years driving things like smart cars and a sixth generation or 90s model Toyota Cressida, which depending on which year and condition it's in, would cost somewhere around a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. He's also apparently a big fan of a particular car brand that starts with the letter L. No, I'm not talking Lambo, I'm talking about his apparent love for Lexus. Having had various Lexus models over the years, for instance, he's had, or maybe he even still has, a 2006 Lexus LS430. This luxurious ride has a smooth 4.3 liter V8 engine and around 278 horsepower. And brand new, it would set you back around $75,000. A lot, no doubt, for just us average Joes or Jens, but if you're like Mel and opt for a 2006 model, it will only set you back around eight to 10,000 
depending on the condition. All right, the number one most famous cheap car driver on the planet, Mr. Pope Francis himself. When His Holiness is not cruising around and is popping Pope Mobile, Pope Francis has been reportedly seen in his very own personal set of holy Hot Wheels as well. So, what does the leader of the Catholic Church drive around the Vatican in? Well, allegedly, it's even less expensive than the Fisker Ocean. Which Fisker Automotive is said to be redoing the Pope Mobile in the upcoming years to be more eco friendly. Known for his humility and laid back demeanor, it should come at no surprise that the Pontiffness opts for a Renault. Four hatchback. And not just any Renault, a very donated 1984 model that maybe is worth like a thousand dollars if you decided to buy it yourself. But that's why his holy father gets the top spot on our cheap cars list. You don't get much cheaper than free, my friends. His car was worth exactly zero dollars out of his pontiff pocket. All right, my gearheads, I want to hear from you. If you were an A-list celeb, what kind of a grade A car would you Tom Cruise around in? Something super over the top and luxurious, or would you go with Old Faithful? Maybe a set of wheels that's a bit more affordable and that you've had a while. I want to hear from you. Let me know which car. Also, let me know what other ultimate machines you want to see me talk about. Cars, planes, robots. It's all fair game here. Let me know which in the comment section below. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. That way you know when I post a new video. All right, thanks so much for watching, gearheads. I'll see you again next time.